Welcome to a new AI video tutorial. Today, I will show you the top 30 use cases for the ChatGPT 4.0 image generator. Open ChatGPT and you can use any 4.0 model. Then click on the create image button and it will highlight create image in blue. Alternatively, you can simply type create or generate image followed by your text. Let's start with the first use case from the 30. Without any particular order, you can turn your sketches into art. Uh, I did a quick sketch here in Photoshop of a tiki head. Then I prompted to turn the sketch into a 3D render. When I prompt, I first ask what I want to happen, followed by more details about the style, background, or environment. I also like to include the ratio, whether it's portrait, landscape, or square. And here are the results. Look how cool it looks and how similar it is to my quick sketch. You can also create all kinds of characters for videos, games, children's books, anything you need. In this example, I asked for a ninja bunny in a digital painting style, and I got this painting that captured the mood I wanted. But, of course, you can ask for changes. I asked to add a bamboo forest in the background and change the style to a realistic 3D render, and the details are quite nice and realistic. Then, you can improvise and add more elements. Sometimes it works better, sometimes worse, but just try a few times until you get something that works for you. Next, I asked for a different style for a Diablo-like night, and I got this image. It's still a little dark for my taste. When I prompt for dark images, I expect better contrast. Then I asked to change the helmet to make it look like an alien is inside it. Something funny, and look at that. It added that alien. So you can do in-painting without even touching the brush. Just tell the AI what needs to be changed. You can create ideas for tattoo designs. In this case, I asked for a symmetrical tech flower with the word AI inside. Then I requested another version without circuits, making it more organic. Next, I asked for a more tribal look and ended up with this version, which looks interesting. Not sure if anyone will use this as a tattoo, but the idea is you can generate design concepts with it. You can also preview the tattoo. For example, I added a photo of a woman with her arm visible and asked ChatGPT to place the tattoo on her arm. The tattoo looks very similar, although the girl isn't identical, but for a preview, it's good enough to get an idea of how the tattoo will look. You can create beautiful coloring pages for both kids and adults with it. To make sure it's clean, I ask for the coloring page to have a clean vector design, and you can choose any ratio you need. The result is quite great, with only a few small mistakes that can easily be fixed in Photoshop. You can create pixel art like 8-bit or 16-bit styles, just like the ones in retro games. I asked for a loading screen with a meditating bunny. The result is interesting, but it has a few small mistakes. The loading screen isn't very clear, and the text isn't centered. So I asked again for it to be centered, changed the outfit, and added clear vector to the prompt to ensure it was more defined. Now it's much clearer and looks quite nice, although it's still not centered. Uh, I wish they would add a 16 to 9 ratio, as that might fix the, the centering issue. It seems like the model was trained on the right ratio, but it delivered me a two to three ratio and cropped the left part. You can also give it a reference image like I did with this bear. I asked for it to be in pixel art style with a white background instead. This is the bear photo I provided, and this is the result I got. It really captured what I had in mind and looks great. You can also create silhouette shape designs like those you use with paper cutting machines such as CreeCut or Silhouette or with laser machines. You just need to generate a clear black and white design so it's easily converted later into an SVG file. For example, I did this cute bunny thief stealing an Easter egg. You can create beautiful album covers for your music. Just make sure to provide all the details you want to appear on the cover. What style, what text, and the more descriptive you are, the more accurate it will be. I generated a random example for a rock album with ChatGPT and guided it on how I wanted the elements to be. The result was a biker rocker king on a throne made from motorcycle parts, which looks quite interesting and could definitely work for a rock album. You can create eye-catching posters. For example, I made a poster for an 80s-inspired party, including the name and date of the event. You can adapt the design of the poster to fit the mood you want to convey. I use it more for inspiration and then refine the design in Photoshop or Illustrator. However, some of these designs can be upscaled with Topaz Gigapixel, and printed in high quality. Another area where it's great is for book covers. I provided the title and author and described what I wanted on the cover and it adapted everything to fit. 
It really has that book cover vibe and I really like it. Then I wondered how it would actually look like a real book. So I thought, why not ask to mock up the image onto a book on a table and look how great it looks, just like a real book. If you're a book cover designer, you can give a photo of your own design and ask to mock it up on the book. It's not 100% identical, but it's pretty close. Or you can ask for a blank book and then manually mock up the design in Photoshop using smart objects. You can add your favorite quotes on backgrounds that fit perfectly, making them ready to post on social media. For example, I used a Zen quote and provided all the details, but you can also ask to generate a background that matches the text. It looks quite nice. You can also use it for motivational quotes, like workout and gym quotes, as I did with this example, featuring the pain is fuel quote. You can generate characters or scenes for memes. In this case, I used a popular meme image and asked to adapt it to show some old robots looking after a new AI robot. It's not perfect, but with some guidance, I'm sure it can generate the perfect meme. You can turn your pet photos into artistic images. I used a portrait of a dog and wanted to create a Rembrandt-style oil painting of the dog with a party hat and a cake for his fifth anniversary. You can use all kinds of styles, from cartoons to paintings. It's a fun way to create unique gifts for your friends. You can create logo ideas with it. For this, I did a rough, quick sketch on paper so I could guide the AI. I described how I wanted the logo to look in a clear vector style, using black and purple colors on a solid white background. The result was this logo, which captured the essence of my sketch idea. Then you can experiment with more ideas to see if you can come up with something even better. My second version was playful, but something was missing from the robot's body. So I explained it in a way that the AI could understand, asking for a teddy bear body and a big robotic head. This one turned out quite cute. It really saves time when designing a logo as you can generate a lot of ideas quickly. You can upload your logo and text and ask for a business card design. In this case, I asked for a minimalist design, so it kept things really simple. My original logo looks like this, but on the business card, it's a little different. It has a more 3D look and the font is slightly altered. I would say use it to generate ideas, since coming up with the right concept takes the most time in design. Once you have the idea, it's easier to recreate it in the right size for a business card and to make it with editable text that can be reused. If you have your own products and want to see how they will look in the real world, you can create previews like I did with this bag. The generated image is quite similar to the original. It's not 100% identical, but it's very close to the original and works well for previews. You can visualize packaging for products. As I mentioned before in design, it's often hard to get started and find the right idea and that's where AI is most useful as a tool to help you work quickly, visualize different ideas fast, and when you find something you like, you can professionally design the final product. Here is another example that I really like for a coffee bag. The design looks great and fits perfectly. I tried to see if I could get the same design used there so I could print it myself on a bag, but I got a variation of that design instead. It's not the exact same, but it can still be useful. So it's better to create the design first and then mock it up on a bag later to see how it will look. You can create visuals for online or print ads. For example, I created an advertisement for a new version of a robot made by ChatGPT in the year 2048. It's quite good with text, though sometimes the text isn't centered or aligned properly. If the text is really small, it can distort some words. I tried another one in a wide ratio and asked for the text to be centered, but it was still a little to the left. Hopefully they will fix that in future releases. Here I cropped the image in Photoshop so it was centered, then pasted it back into ChatGPT and asked to place it on a billboard on a highway. It almost got it right, but there was still a small error with the text. However, if it can do this now, imagine what it will be capable of in a year from now. You can design flyers or banners for events. For example, here I added a lot of text for a fictive AI art convention happening in London it included all the text, but there were some design issues with the text alignment again. Despite that, I still liked it because it adjusted the design to fit the text and gave me an idea of how I could arrange everything. What I like to do is ask for the same image, but with all the text removed so I can add my own text in Photoshop. And look at that. How crazy is that? It can even remove watermarks and all kinds of text. Now the background is clean and I can add my own text. It even added Big Ben in the window, which was a nice touch. 
It's also great for social media posts like Instagram, Pinterest, blogs, or even TikTok if you do some cropping to fit the 9 to 16 ratio. Look how great this image turned out with all the text and the right image. It's so easy now to create images for social media, whether you have a good idea or ask ChatGPT for some suggestions and pick one that could work. You can upload your own photo. For example, I tested with this AI-generated man photo and then asked to create an avatar for me in the Ghibli style, which seems popular these days. Although I don't really approve of using an artist's or studio's name in the prompt, I prefer to mix general painting or art styles instead. The results are really interesting, showing how it can take the features of a face and adapt them to an anime style. You can try different styles like Minecraft or other variations. You can also ask ChatGPT what art styles it can generate, and it can provide you with a list. You can generate ideas for web page designs. I provided a lot of information about how I wanted the buttons, text, and other elements, and it was really impressive how much detail I was able to include, and it generated a web page design for me. I'm not too skilled with web design, but this can give you great inspiration for layout, colors, and more. Once again, it cropped the bottom part, so any developers from ChatGPT, if you're watching this video, please add a 9 to 16 ratio option to ChatGPT. You can design mobile or desktop user interface ideas. For example, I added some details for a main screen design, similar to a brief you would receive from a client. It's impressive to see how well it generates ideas in the style you ask for, like these ideas for a robot toys delivery company app with a game-like mood. You can create icon sets for apps or games. For example, I asked for six flat icons for a financial app. In the first attempt, it tried to place all the icons in a single line, so it cropped from the left. To fix that, I asked for another set and requested that three icons be placed on top and three on the bottom to avoid the line arrangement. This time, it worked much better. It still cropped from the left, but there wasn't any important icon there. Overall, it's quite good for icon designs. You can prototype t-shirts, dresses, outfits, Great for fashion designs or for those who design cosplay costumes. I did a rough sketch of a dress with a dagger on the belt and wanted it to have an Asian style displayed on a mannequin. It can also be displayed on a real person, but I wanted to keep that tailor mood. Look how great the design turned out based on the simple sketch I provided. It captured the essence and made it much better than the original sketch. It's also great for creating invitations for example, I made a wedding invitation by adding some text and describing the mood I wanted. In just two minutes, I had an invitation design. When I think back to how it took me hours to create my own wedding invitation design, now you can get it in just two minutes. It's crazy how fast AI is advancing. You can create greeting cards for different holidays. For example, I made a Christmas card that says Merry Christmas. You can experiment with different art styles. For the first one, I tried a watercolor painting style and it came out really nice and cute. Then I asked for another variation with a bunny on a ladder in a clean vector style with a red background. It's great to try different styles to match the mood you're after. It's also great for creating infographics, turning data into simple visuals. I provided a big list with the details I wanted and it generated a clean and nice looking design. The only issue is that it cropped from the bottom. If they listen and add a 9-16 ratio, that might fix the problem. You can always try again and hope for a better result that isn't cropped. I've also noticed that when I use two or three items, it fits well, but when there are four or five, it starts cropping. So two or three items usually fit in any ratio. Then I wanted something fun, like a cross-section anatomy of a squirrel. Um, I provided a lot of details, but it messed up the position of the organs. So maybe it's best to ask it to remove the text and add it manually in the right position afterward. You can illustrate ideas, theories, or inventions. In this case, I asked for a concept illustration showing how AI works, and I got this illustration with an input, the magic happening, and then the output. It could be a great illustration for websites or blog posts, making complex concepts easier to visualize. You can create microscopic images. I'm not sure how accurate they are, but there was a time when you could only find these on stock sites, or you needed to be skilled at rendering with 3D software to create something like this. The quality of the image is quite good, and it definitely captures that microscopic photo mood. And for the last use case, game assets. There are many more use cases, but it would take forever to fit all of them into a single video. I gave it a photo of this cottage in the forest, 
then asked for an isometric view of that in a game style. Look how nice it looks. It can be great inspiration for game designers. Uh, I also tried to generate a fantasy map for a fantasy kingdom, and I got this map. Too bad it's cropped from the left. I could probably fix it in Photoshop, but I hope they fix that since it's kind of annoying. It could have been a perfect map without needing to generate another one to get a good version. Then I asked for some medieval button ideas for a game. I got this version, but all the buttons were a little too different for my taste. However, I liked the play button, so I asked for something similar for the rest of the buttons in the same size. The result was a set of buttons that looks really nice. Next, I wanted to create a character sheet with front and side views for a ninja bunny. I'm impressed by how well it can generate characters in different views. I then asked for the same bunny in a running pose, and I really like how that turned out. You can create consistent characters, even if they're not perfectly identical. You can still make it work with cartoons or other illustrations. With people, you can see more of the differences. Finally, I asked for the same bunny to be on a roof at night as a game loading menu screen. Look at this loading screen. It would have taken me a few hours to do something similar in Photoshop, and still maybe not as good as this. I would have done a different logo and centered the loading bar, but the illustration is really good. And that's all for today. If you found something useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I've worked 13 hours to create today's video, so any support is welcome. You can leave a super thanks or join the membership, but even a simple comment helps a lot and is free. Thanks, Sebastian, for joining AI Titans. You can also join the Discord for free. We have over 20,000 members on the Pixaroma server. Have a great day.